Howdy, Suge out here in a near whiteout on a 10 degree day in Minnesota. Out here romping around in my Jibboy style snowshoes. So I'm home for about a day off the road, heading out to uh, Arizona in the morning. So I kind of got a hankering just to come out here on the lake, kind of lay down a track so me and Meg can come down and cross country ski later. Thought I'd come out early, early! And sort of break the snow down a little bit. So we have something to kind of get down into, do a couple of laps, and then go in and have a early Valentine dinner. Sounds romantic, eh? Hey. Pretty obvious looking at the size of them there that the Ojibwe have just more float because they're bigger as opposed to the MSR right there. This is much smaller even with the tail on. And I got these new Canadian bindings here on this one which work really great. They have one cramp on right in the front. They hook up very similar in the back as the MSR do. And this this part is very easy to get on and off right there. But what makes me nervous is just these thin little rubber pieces that hold it to the actual snowshoe part. So far, so good. I mean, they haven't torn or anything and I've worn them a good bit, but uh, we'll continue to check that out. And then him, here is the MSR standard. They have a nice, pretty much the same way to get your back heel. And, of course, the best part of this snowshoe is all the aggressive traction and crampons all around the edge. That mainly all comes in really handy when you're pulling a pulk and you need that grip getting up hills on the trails and all that. And I'm not sure the Ojibwe one with just that crampon is going to be enough yet on a pulk with some severe hills, but uh, I'll try it out sometime. So these have a real nice and easy way to tighten them up which is really cool you just crank this and it ratchets to tighten it up and I can feel it kind of snug on my toe right there and I can pop that little white tip and loosen it up just a hair let's take a look from this angle now so to tighten just you can see it ratcheting and tightening up right there Well, it's a nice ratchet system to get that on and then of course just tighten up your back strap as well which has a really nice very similar to the MSR where you pop it through like that and then just clamp it off in the back on your little clip and then when you want to undo these to loosen you just lift that ratchet part just kind of take that white tab and just kind of loosen the whole thing up like that it's real easy to get your foot in and out of there. Slickety slick! And now to put on the MSR. Slide your foot in. And you have three of these straps right here. And of course, they don't have to be as tight as you think they have to be. Alright, just get them snug enough to where they catch. Alright, and that system, same sort of little loop system here. All right, where I, I pull this, I know my hand's in the way, and I get it to kind of hook right there, okay? And then I just slide it into the little, the little clip keeper. There's three of these little clips here, and then I reach, come around the back, and on the back here, it's pretty much like the other snowshoe I go through. Slide my little clip keeper around a little bit, pull it around the heel, and get it hooked on and clip it off. And that's pretty much how the snowshoes go on. Again, it's pretty easy to see right now 
with my feet in there, the the length of each one of these, all right? And the way the bindings are hooked on. So the Ojibwe style definitely has better float, but here's the advantage is the MSR, because it's shorter, when you're kind of back in the woods and you've got to, let's say you're sawing wood or you're gathering and you've got to back up and you have to maneuver around, the, the MSR is just shorter and it's just a little easier to do all of that with. So as far as like turning, if I was in really tight woods and I gotta, I gotta step back, it's a little bit easier with the MSRs just because they're shorter. And these, they get caught on stuff a little bit more. And when you're backing up, it's a little harder to get them back. And sometimes when you're in cutting wood and you're trying to saw wood and get your toes in there, because these are kind of round and short, like right now, I was kind of stuck down under something. These are just a little bit more to maneuver. So as far as one over the other, snow conditions, the Jibboy definitely floats better. But for uh, in tight woods where there's a lot of brush and a lot of scrub, and you got to get back and cut wood, get down, gather water and stuff, I almost think for backpacking, the MSRs are better, more grip. But I've been rough on mine and never busted them. Wooden ones, you know, you can break. I guess you could break either, but it's always good to bring yourself a little repair kit. Anytime you're out snowshoeing and gonna use them, and get way back in the woods, it's good to have some wire, some line, a little repair kit with you, just in case you gotta fix them out in the woods. And with the wooden ones, possibly a little splint but they're both good. Actually, the best thing is to own both, but I end up using the MSR way more than I use the Ojibwe style wooden ones, traditional as they call them. And yes, sir, I'm wearing my, uh, my snowshoes with my Steger Mucklucks right now, my Steger Yukon Mucklucks. Snowshoes work great with Mucklucks. In the old fire pit here. We got us a heater out here. I tarp it in in the winter. Right out that way is my hammock hanging area. Timber framed. And I got me a cool little roof up there. And uh, let's check this out. How about that, huh? All I do is run outside and pull a rope on one side, and now I'll go pull the rope on the other side. I'm gonna tell you what, that is like the greatest in hillbilly technology, and I am a Bill Hilly.